Are you tired of being broke? Are you tired of not having enough money or any money when emergencies come? Well, stay tuned. I have a great tip to help you save $1,000. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is going to be about saving $1,500 <laughs> for emergencies. And it will be saved within three months. So stay tuned for this video. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, according to whatever time it is where you live. My name is Wanda. Wanda is my name and saving money is my game. Yes, it is. I have learned a va very valuable lesson about saving money. It is important. It is essential and we need to save. Definitely save for emergencies because they can't be avoided. Even though they can't be avoided, we need to be prepared. And no better way than being prepared is by putting small amounts of money away every time we get paid, whether it be your nine to five, your side hustle, someone gives you money, somebody gifts you money. If you find money, every time you get some money, we need to take some money out of it and put it away for emergency. You know, doing that over time, it adds up. And if we're consistent, patient, and disciplined, it would add up before you know it. And my motto is, let's save more, in 2024 let's save more in 2024 so save money with me i'm going to be doing videos weekly i've been doing videos on this saving money because i mean i got to a point i had to start doing something i got tired of Every time an emergency come, I didn't have any money. I was always saying, when I get paid, when I get paid, when I get paid, no more. And these tips that I have, that leaves us with no excuses, no matter how much you make. These tips, you'll be able to do that. So in today's video, I'm going to be stuffing my cash binder, cash stuffing binder that I created from Dollar Tree. You can go back and look at that video, how to make a cash stuffing binder from Dollar Tree. Now, um, all the stuff that I bought was during uh, when school was starting. So they're kind of limited now, but I was just in there recently and they still have these notebooks. And if you go to different ones, you'll find these pencil pockets. That's what these are. And you don't have to, if they don't have them, Walmart, Target, they have pencil pockets. And the reason I chose these pencil pockets because I can't see the money. So it's out of sight, out of mind. And that's what works for me. We have to do what we have to do, what works for us. I mean, you may not have a problem with the other cash stuffing binders where you stuff the money in the the uh where well, you can see the money which you can order off of etsy amazon and i saw some on timu cash stuff and binders you can do that also or you can create your own or if you can you can even put the money in the bank whatever but save something okay so i've been um this is the month of january and this is where i started i think this was my payday here I put 120, and that's what I'm going to be doing. We're going to be doing, putting $125 a week, every week. Now, you know, it came to my mind, some people may get paid every two weeks. Well, that's $250 every two weeks. But if you can't do that, do something, okay? It's better than nothing. Do something. So... I put 125 in this week, this payday, and this one was from my side hustle. I put $125 in here, 
and $125 here. And today is, uh, what is today? Today is Thursday, but I'm gonna post this video for Friday, tomorrow. So I'll put the $125 here on the 26th. And this one is coming from my side hustle, okay? So anyway, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be adding to these pencil pockets, which is my cash stuffing binder, okay? And, and I'm gonna show you that the money is still here now. Um, each one of these pockets has some money in it, except for the ones for the $1 bills and the ones for the $100 bills. And I decided I want to have money in each one. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to put a $100 bill in here. And there's no money in here. Okay, let's put that in here. So this one will be stuffed now. And the money is still here from the other videos that I've done. This is the 50s. Okay. And you know, this is money after the bills are paid, okay? Actually, I'll just take this out of here first. Out of my paychecks first. Okay, and here's the 20s. From the other videos. And these are the 10s. From the other videos. Okay. And these videos are to help encourage and motivate someone to start saving whether you make a lot of money or not because there are people that make a lot of money they're not saving either i was one of them <laughs> okay and there here's the fives that are still here from the other videos that i created these cards was inside these uh pencil pockets and i just kept them in there and here's the ones for the ones that has no money. So I put a $100 bill in this one and, and I want to put some ones in here. And so and we're doing 125. So here's 25 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, whoops, okay. So, every pocket has some money and this is like a miscellaneous um, pocket. And I said I was gonna always add some money and, and this has uh, $25 in it from the last videos. I do have some more money around here somewhere. I don't know what I did with it. I have to add that to it because I want to always put some money in here too. So, and this is something that I did. Dollar Tree had these around school time when school was starting. You know, I just kind of put these emoji stickers on here. If you've been watching the videos, you already know that. So the $100 bill gets this kind of pinkish color, fuchsia, see? Oh, I forgot to write that on here. Where's my pen? That's what I put, 100. And then the 20, I'm not gonna put 25, one, 25 emoji stickers on here. I'll just put one purple one and then I'll just put 25 ones. Okay, so that's $125. So, you know what? The last time I had added up um, what I put in here, 
and the total was wrong. I thought about that. Because what I did, I, I added what I had. I added up what I put in, but I, it was more money here that I didn't add. So, so far, let's see. Wow, it's 4.40 a.m. See? <laughs> I'm filming this before I go to work. So that lets somebody know, if you want to be a content creator, you want to do a YouTube channel, you can still do this with a nine to five. Like I said, it is 4.40 a.m. And I'm doing this before I go to work. I start cooking breakfast at 6 a.m. Okay. Later. Okay, so I did 125 on the second. Okay. And then I did another 125 on the 11th. And then I did another 125 on the 20th. And then a 125 on today. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. Let me do this over, okay. One, two, three. Let's just say 125 times four. Let's just do it that way. Okay, this is how much I've saved since January 2nd. 125, four times. And this is how much I've saved. So if you've been doing this with me, this is how much you can have right now. I mean, January 2nd seemed like it was just yesterday. Okay? And then I'm going to have one more payday this week. I mean, this month. I'm sorry. Right here. So, in this binder, I have a hundred and, I mean, five, $500. And that's not including the uh, miscellaneous reserve money. I don't add that to it. Okay, so it can be done. You can do it. And even if you don't have $125 a week or every two weeks, do something. My goal is to have $1,500 saved within three months. And if I stay on track doing this every week, I will have $1,500. Okay? And you will too if you do it. And if you just started watching these videos, you can make it up. You can just, you know, sit down and figure, okay, what do I need to do? How much do I need to put in to have $1,500? Uh, by, that's going to be, this is February. Um, by March 19th. That's when, if I put in $125 every week, by March 19th, I'll have $1,500. And then I'm going to start over. Okay? So, you can do it. I encourage you. I motive, I'm trying to motivate someone to start saving. That is so important. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's important. Okay, this video is getting too long. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for joining me. I hope this video was helpful to someone. And... I'll see you in the next video. Remember, we're saving more in 2024. We'll be glad that we did. Goodbye.